Count Arthur Strong, this is your life. Barry Cryer, Barry Cryer, do you have a funny story that you wish to share with us? Uh, yes, when Arthur was asked to stand in for Roy Castle in an episode of television's Record Breakers. Yes, and everybody said how good I was in that, didn't they, Barry? You remember that? They should have given me the whole series to do, never mind one sodded episode. Really? You've got just the right kind of inquiry in mind for a show like Record Busters. I know all sorts of facts I do. Listen, um, the longest recorded giraffe tongue is 28 inches long. The the record busters. Um, the, the elastic in a golf ball would stretch two and a half miles to the sun and back there, to the moon and back. So, the record busters. Um, camels and man are two of the few animals that spit. And I know that first hand because a camel spat at me when I was at Longleat, didn't it, the bloody thing? They don't tell you that when you're buying a ticket, do they? <laughs> you can catch all sorts of nasty things off camels as well. I said to the woman there, I said, listen you. I said, if I've caught anything off that bloody camel that proves to be fatal or even halfway close to being semi-fatal, I shall issue legal proceedings. Do you know what she said? I don't work here. <laughs> Now, come on, what kind of customer service is that then, eh? Passing the book again, isn't it? Passing the book. I'll tell you something, that's how Larry Arabia went mad, you know. A camel bit him and it went antiseptic when he was doing Dr. Zhivago. Eh? No, then. Anyway, she didn't get the better of me. I said to her, listen you, for a start, you can't have ships in the desert because there isn't any water there, is there? So, you're not half as clever as you think I am, are you? <laughs> Good day to you. So, I'm sure you'll all agree, I had the last laugh there. <laughs> hey, um, uh, llamas can spit as well. Because I've seen a llama spit on Blue Peter once. Yeah, well, so. they're from the same family as a camel, aren't they, a llama? Yeah, it doesn't have a hump. No, it doesn't have a hump. I've got two eyes in the front of my heads. They're from the same family, I said, if you'd listen. It's like Quasimodo, isn't it? Well, he had a hump. No, he had a hump. The hump back of Notting Hill, everyone knows that. <laughs> it's my whole sodden point. He had a hump, you don't. Same family. <laughs> can, um, can ostriches spit? Because they are quite bad-tempered, aren't yeah, they? They don't have any hump. Listen. Stop telling me that. Or, oh, um, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty is a bloody egg, you idiot. What are you saying that for? Fried eggs can spit. Shut up now. <laughs> Shut up now. It's too much. Does a humpback whale actually have a hump, or is that just its name? Engelbert Humperdinck. Um, <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. Dirk Bogart. Humpback Bridge. John Humphreys. How far you being served? <laughs> Shut that door. That's another one. Oh, no. Will you stop going on about sodding homes? You've got me at it now. Spitting, I'm talking about spitting. Don't know how we got on humps. <coughs> Wonderful episode of Record Dusters this is, isn't it? Eh? I'll watch this when I get home. 